Hello everyone, welcome to my first devlog. During the first month of creating this game, I've set my eyes on the end goal of releasing a demo. While I haven't quite succeeded with that goal, I've come quite close with the release of the combat beta. I'm going to take my time in this devlog to talk about the lessons I've learned while creating the game so far, and the lessons I learned while releasing the beta. One of my main struggles that took the longest to resolve were my problems with the player and me interactions. The player's main move is the dash, and it is very fun to use while dashing through enemies. The only problem is that the players would dash through the enemies while the enemies were attacking. This caused the players to lose HP by just trying to have fun. I improved the interaction by making the enemy attacks slower and more obvious. To make sure that the player regrets dashing into such a clear and easy to dodge attack, this made the combat much more fluid and caused less deaths by unthought out moves. Another lesson I learned is that you have to make everything easy for your players. Anytime anything important happens in your game, you're going to want to have a pop-up, a sound effect, or a particle effect to show it. One of the features I decided to add later in my game was a blood splash around the outside of the screen when the player got hurt. This helped a lot and made it so that the player didn't have to look down at their health bar during the combat. Thing in the combat beta that I probably should have spent more time on is the tutorial. It is one of the most important things that is most commonly ignored by game devs. If the player isn't taught to play the game well, then the player will most likely find the game extremely difficult. If you've got the player interested enough to play your game in the first place, then you should attempt to get them to play and enjoy your game for as long as possible. One lazy tutorial could make their session that much shorter. piece of advice I have on game testing is to get your friends and family who do and don't play games to play the game in front of you. You can utilize your friends who don't play games to understand how good your tutorial is, and utilize your friends who do play games to remove the frustrating and unconventional parts of your game via their feedback. These people will bring great perspective to your game and shine light on areas that need to be fixed. Moving from the game to the store page, I learned that they take forever to make. Even after hearing tons of devs saying that making store pages is difficult and that you have to leave a decent amount of time to work on them, I still thought that they wouldn't take very much time to create. Making a store page requires a lot of trial and error, as well as constant tweaks to image dimensions and fonts. All I'm saying is leave a solid amount of time to work on your store page. Looking at the future of the game, I have many plans. They involve a simple story of trying to get to the top of the tower to save the princess. I'm aware the strobe is overused, and will probably switch out the princess for a more comedic character or object. I also plan on there being different floors on this tower, with many waves of different enemies to fight on each one. One more system I hope to add before the game's release is a skill-based power-up system that rewards the player for dashing through enemies back-to-back. -back. By allowing the player to redeem a power-up based on how many enemies were killed in a row. This kind of power-up would be like infinite bullets, or a temporary shield that you would get for getting maybe 5 kills in a row, or 10 kills in a row. I think it will be an interesting system that will surely need multiple tweaks, but I do look forward to implementing it. Thank you for watching this first devlog. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it if you could like the video. And if you wish to see other devlogs, I'd suggest subscribing. If you're interested in the game at all, you can play the combat beta down below, or you can watch this quick montage I edited. Thank you.